Hello, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. Have you noticed the ending of things? And have you noticed something else? Even though you can sense or feel or see that there is an ending of certain things, there's people trying to hang on and still do the same old things and expect the results to be the same. Now that's the definition of insanity and you're not crazy. But how do you deal with the ending of things? Like, for example, in your families, um, jobs, a lot of people are being laid off at jobs. And I'm telling you, there is no loyalty. You can't expect things when, well, for example, in my country, when the Federal Reserve Bank raises rates so rapidly, it puts a squeeze on everything. So we are actually kind of in a white collar recession. It's the ending of things, meaning the easy money is not there. However, can people still make money? Can they still have a career? Can they still have a living? Yes, I have helped many people with those root chakra issues that are tied to career, money, money and family, money and loyalties. Okay, these are root chakra issues. Where do you lo loyalties lie? You can grieve that old job. You can um, feel very angry. We help you with that because your light body is not intended to carry those things into your next venture, into your next level. And as they say, sometimes when one door closes, another opportunity and door opens. Your higher self cares for you. If you're just wallowing down here you're, and you're not communing, and it's really hard when you're in a mood and dealing with the endings of things that your higher self can connect to you, but it is so important. It is like crucially, vitally important as in life giving, life affirming. Our higher selves want us to reach up to them. It's still us, we're the lower self, they're the higher self. And it can feel very divine because that is how we really are. But until you experience that, which I want to help people to do that's my calling you really kind of don't know not everyone really teaches it either you know some people are throwing down cards and saying well in six months you're going to get this but how does it really help you to integrate and expand your light body pull in your skill sets from other lifetimes that you can utilize for your greater good in this lifetime how do you be the best version of you so that's just one aspect of the endings of things it will be family patterns and one thing i've noticed for sure this has happened in my family this happened with my sister-in-law not between she and i but on her side with her blood relatives it's like when people don't talk to each other one-on-one -on -one. and this is the issue we have with mob mentalities you can take any group of people, but if you take some individuals on their own, you can see that, oh, well, they're kind of nice people. We have common interests. But if you take a whole mob of them, they're just descending and doing things and becoming violent because they're tapped into that mob mentality. Look, this is the same kind of animalistic behavior that animals have when they run in a herd. They've all got to go in one direction or in a good way, maybe when birds fly as a flock to a warmer climate. We see that with the Canadian geese. You know, we see them heading south more like, oh boy, really cold weather is coming. But in people, this can become very, very alarming and scary for some people. It leads to distrust, fear, um, violent acts, you know, how do we break away so that we can do this properly? Well, it is not easy to have a one-on-one -on -one current conversation. So we got in this conversation about like, you know, family discipline and how this person in the family, she gave some inheritance to someone and cut out someone else. And, you know, they weren't communicating. That was one of the biggest issues no communication, no inclusion, no decision making that was a part of the family's greater good. 
And then there were misunderstandings because then other people were talking and not talking to the direct person. If at all possible, as fearful as it is, and this is why I tell people, connect with your higher self because that's where your power is. It's not in telling someone off. It's having your higher self here with you. It's having your twin flame with you, energetically speaking, and addressing that person and addressing them and their higher self because that's where the respect is. It's not always down here. Respect or um, just listening to someone or just seeing what other options are available or negotiating or something like that. It's not allowing you to get the guidance sometimes to say, should I negotiate that salary? Should I ask grandma about that? Should I, should I, should I? And getting the proper guidance that feels like so light and lovely right here where your heart feels like it flutters open and it's like, la, right? How many times do you have that feeling when it feels like, so this is how it should feel. Your heart flutters open. It feels like the best idea ever. It feels like love floods in because your higher self is also loving this and loving you. And it should feel like breath, like huh, a sigh of relief and like of you know, calmness, like, ah, you know, all our body's tension is just like flittered away and it's gone, gone. And it should feel like you're energized. Now, if you're not doing that way, it's really time to learn about all of the features that your brand new light body has for you. Because that's where a lot of people make the mistake. And this is still a form of of separation. You're separating when you're spiritual, okay? Like, I don't even want to call it spiritual. You're separating when you're able to be and be yourself, okay? It's not for Sunday mornings when you're listening to someone in the pulpit. It's not for those times when you're laying on a yoga mat. It's not for those times when, you know, you can be in your Zen room or in front of your altar it is for those times when you're in traffic and you're having a rage response, reaction, really. It is for those times when those dark shadows come up and you're like, uh-oh, here comes my other side. I'm not afraid of the dark. I delve right in with people who've like had really bad attacks. They have illness. They have... Uh, things that they call entities, which truly they are not entities created with light and love like we are. So I'm not afraid of them. I'm not afraid of people's stuff, partly because, yeah, by now I've learned. But in part, I put my trust in my higher self that it wasn't going to go down that I would be untouched. I could see the ugliest things. I could see what had been perpetrated. Okay. So this is why the ending of things, because we have to get back to really utilizing and being, okay. Like be yourself. Now, if you're not sure how my work is, join my full moon mini workshop. I have two of them coming up here. And the links are below. It will be either in the evening, depending on what your time zone is, or in the morning. We have a women's healing circle coming up. And of course, we do sessions and coaching. Ending of things. What are the ending of things that you're noticing and dealing with? Write it in the comments. Okay? Because ending of things was expected. 2024 is the year we were expecting for certain things to end. It started in earnest in October, um, really in July of 2023, July preceding the Lion's Gate where we could do the final swoop of all the things, all of the battle-worn, torn star seeds that have been harmed and traumatized and wounded and get them in here for their final healing and get together with their true love. That's what's really happening. 
So if you're in a separation, please take heed that this year is supposed to be your year to get up and running. Now, one other thing I'd like to say, those jobs ain't loyal because they're a job, okay, for many people. You can have the calling of your heart, and that does not mean everyone is supposed to be a healer of some sort. Maybe you're an innovator. Maybe you are a customizer. Maybe you're a prototyper. There are other tasks on this journey that are equally, if not more important to do for, you know, as we go along here. And mostly as twin flames, our best work, we do it in bed by kissing each other. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Look for the links below. Bye.